Trust me, friend, it's for the better. No! Hi. Oh my gosh, I haven't filmed in like over a week. This is the longest that I've ever gone without filming and posting a video. Yeah, despite being super sick a few weeks ago and still filming, and then breaking my nose and still filming, last week I got a huge new tattoo, and within a few hours I started feeling very sick, like very, very sick. And that's never happened before, so I was like, what is, what this? is this? Turns out it was flu A. Yeah, I needed a little break to actually rest and not worry about making content and filming it and taking what little bit of energy I still had at the time and putting it into taking care of my animals and making sure we all get through that, okay? So, hi, here I am, here we are, we are back, and I have a fun video that I have been wanting to film so bad all week for you guys. So I have have been wanting to try this so badly. This is the Sliding Crib Mini from Tarantula Cribs, and it is a tiny sliding crib. This is four by three by three, and it has absolutely teeny tiny ventilation. I have not gotten to try this yet, so I have three really awesome tarantulas ready to rehouse. Uh, we're gonna do like slightly bioactive mini setups. I thought this would just be a lot of fun. I love tiny things. I love little tiny enclosures. Open it up, check it out. So cute. It's so cute and it's like very good quality. Of course it's got the sliding top, the magnets, ventilation is absolutely teeny tiny, so this will work for very small terrestrial tarantulas. And then they have the little feet, so they're stackable as well as all the other sliders. We have my Afono Pilma species Tamalupas. Tamalupas. We also have another Aphonopilma. It's Aphonopilma species Encinos. Her little butt is right here. And then this one was a gift to me. It's some sort of homeoma. I believe it is the homeoma pervianum. So I thought let's go ahead and give them some really cute mini bioactive setups. Look at this. They stack perfect. Like these are so good at stacking. All right, so we are just going to be using a little bit of Reptisoil. And then we're gonna use a little bit of this bioactive soil from J&B Terrariums. Not too much. So let's go ahead and put the hides in. I just have I just have a bunch of little pieces of cork bark. So let's go ahead and see what will work with these. Awesome. So I went to Michael's today and um, all their Easter stuff was like 50% off or their like floral Easter stuff. I don't know if like all. Anyway, I got grabbed this and I grabbed like some other really awesome things for other enclosures I have in mind. But um, yeah, so I think I paid, it was 50% off of $7.99. So it was like about $4 for this. Um, I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut this one up. I got a couple, cause I, I got one I also just wanna use like in like a bigger enclosure maybe or something, I don't know. But I'm, I'm gonna cut this one up. I specifically got this one to cut up to use for these. So we are going to do that today. What if I really talked like that? This is looking cute. I'll give you guys like a better look once we get it more together. I think I'm gonna add just like a pinch of more substrate, just a little bit. A literal pinch, like I'm not even kidding. Wasn't a figure of speech. Now would it be weird to add some of this leaf litter? No, actually I think it looks awesome. I thought it might be too big for these, but no, it actually looks good. Maybe I'll do like smaller leaves than that though. I haven't used these little mushrooms in a while, but in the name of spring, we will do the little mushrooms. We're gonna do a little bit of a spray down. So these are looking awesome. We just have to add one more thing besides the spider. So we have to add like two more things, but <laughs> bring tails, look at them. Look how cute they are. Look at them, okay. And you guys always ask me every video, what do the springtails do? They just kind of help clean up any like leftovers, any any cricket pieces that don't get eaten, anything really. They just kind of help take care of that. If there's any mold, they do help with that as well, preventing mold mostly. They're so cute. Like 
How adorable is this? Oh my God. I'm gonna move this one first. This one's a little erratic for me. It's bolted on me and like, it's so fast. What am I gonna give you? You don't really dig much at all. So I'll give you this one. I wonder if I could just walk you over if you're gonna be like crazy and bolt. They do have a catch cup. It's probably gonna try to eat me because it looks, ah, it's trying to eat me. Yep, saw that coming. Okay. Boy, you are feisty. All right, get down. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Look at this, this is so cute. Look at it, look at it, in my hand. This, <laughs> are you kidding me? So that is one down, two to go. I'm wondering if these other two will like let me handle them. Okay, let's do the bigger one first. This is the Tema Lupias. Okay, really chill. Really, really easy to get out. Can I hold you? Oh, you are cute. Here we go, a phone poma. Tamalupias, and this is one that I have had for quite a long freaking time. So I'm very proud to have a spider this size finally. <laughs> it takes a minute. Um, I'm gonna put you in this one. Maybe I should put you in the cup first. Let's go in the cup first. What a good spider. <laughs> okay, yep, 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 there you go. Oh, there you go, look at you. Actually, yeah, this is great. I feel like this is probably the biggest size sling that I would put in one of these, but because of how slow a Phonopelma grow, she'll be fine in this for a while. Okay, so we just have one more to go. Last one, here we go. A Phonopelma BC's in Chinos. I don't remember exactly what this one looks like as an adult. Very, very pretty brown, look at that. I love this color. Whereas this Ophonopilma is like kind of like a, a more reddish color. It's like more of a rose hair color. And then this one is like a darker Ophonopilma. I wonder how nice we are. Oh. Oh, she kicked hair at me for being so small. That's kind of surprising. Just annoy you. I know, we're just gonna keep kicking hair, huh? So you're gonna be a little hair kicker. Trust me, friend, it's for the better. No! Ah! Why are you kicking air at me? I'm just trying to help you. Don't be difficult. There you go. Wow, new home, good job. You gotta put your little feetsies in there though. You gotta put your whole little feetsies in there. Oh, we are done! I love how these turned out. And they stack quite well. Ta-da! So I really like these. I think they're perfect for small slings. Even smaller slings than these you could use. These are just a, s oh! I have another sling that we can rehouse really quick. Okay, let's do that. This is a great sling to use for that size enclosure as well. Oh no, maybe you're too small. You're too small. I was thinking this Afonopilma uh, Stein Dart Chenary, but you're a little too small still. That's okay. I'll give you a small, tiny cricket though. Find the smallest one I have. Ooh, there's a tiny, tiny one. Tiny, tiny cricket for a tiny, tiny spider.
Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you, you want, want to be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram and use probably way too much as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon and merch and a bunch of things that's all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.